Jerry Curtis today gained a hearing with the state Senate subcommittee on energy reserves for the state of California. Senator Curtis claims that he has new evidence to support his contention that the Pentagon has secretly stockpiled 200 million barrels of high grade fuel. Because of the threats to his life by military establishment, the senator is in hiding, could not be made comment, but he is expected to appear for the late night debate on the energy question in the state legislature on Thursday evening. If the senator's appearance in California is successful, political experts are predicting that we could be on our way to a return of the private automobile in the U.S. and possibly the rest of the world.
I'll just take me a deep breath. I'll be running in daylight. DVC patrol. I had to burn them out. Here, I got something for you. Yeah, what do you got? Right out of the box. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> that's beautiful. That's gorgeous. All right. The only way out of the valley is right here. Pick up the senator, right there. Why don't you come with me? Senator needs all the help he can muster. A favor or a favor? Hey, he'd appreciate it. You'd be well rewarded. Nope. Any uh, DVC in this area? <laughs> Just keep your pedal down and keep your shiny side up.
I figured it was you. <laughs> I don't know anyone else who can find more things in the barren desert to trip into or fall against than you. Yeah, well, I got here, didn't I? Yeah, you got here, all right. Let me take a look at you. Uh-huh. Well, well, well. This is the big secret? Yeah, yeah, that's the big secret. How come you never brought me out here before? Well, uh, ask your mother. Well, I tried. She says she doesn't want anything to do with you or your affairs. My affair? Yeah. There's my affair. She a beauty, though. Mm -hmm. Jail for this. What for? For just owning it, let alone driving it. No kidding, I didn't know that. Well, you can. I mean, you could. <laughs> Whatever happened to that, that feisty little kid I used to know? You never cared for me when I was a kid, and you know it. Now, who told you that? Mom. Mom. Your poor mom. Your, your, your mom. Always obeyed every law, except one. She never let me see you. Never let me see you? You know, you never came. Who told you that? Mm -hmm. Mom. And uh, where did you spend your weekends when you were a little fella? You remember that? Grandma? Uh-huh. Auntie Mace? That was supposed to be my time with you, son. See, I was out of hell. Forget it. Plays and laws are meant to be kept. Yeah, well, you're still breaking the law. And you're wasting limited resources. Limited resources? If I had to, I could make fuel out of bullshit. And there is no scarcity of that in this world. Still against the law. Listen, son. I rebuilt this entire car. Body, drivetrain, engine. Out of spare parts, cash from the black market. Now, what do you expect me to do? Turn this into the crusher so he can send it back to me as a frying pan? It's better than getting busted as a burner. A burner! That's right, I am a burner. I burn illegal hot fuel. And you know why? Because... Yeah, I guess there's only one way that I'm ever gonna make you understand. Here you are, son. Get in. What for? I'm gonna take you for a ride. In this thing? Yep, in this thing. It's against the law. Oh, oh, oh nah. Come on. What's the matter, boy? You scared? No, I'm not scared. No, no, you're not scared. You look scared. Seems no big deal. Well, climb in then, boy. Climb in. Climb in. Put that can on your head. Turnpike, do you read me? This is Turnpike, Burner One. We read you. Senator? Lots of gas and lots of gold. Heading out from Red One. 10 4, Burner One. Okay, let's go. Safe standoff. Red One's a damn son of a bitch. I gotta get a fix on that gas jockey. All right, let's go bust a burner. Where's Dolan? Up in the hills playing Indian, probably. 
is a nut. I wouldn't tell him that. I had you right where I wanted you. They'll be coming right down this pike. Sounds like they're getting close. Better get out of sight. Now listen, I want you to put one in this burner's block. I can't miss. Yeah. Pretend it's me.
pike. This burner. I'm blown out. My, my rad's gone, I'm running in the red. These guys are crazy, for God's sake. You've got to help me. God, you got to help me. Turnpike. The burner one. I've, I've had it. Help me, for God's sake. Please. Please.
hate right? Hate what? Hate the, what? The, the, the feeling, the, the, the... No, I don't hate it. Well, do you like it? Yeah, I like it. Huh. Look at all that dust. You must be able to see that for miles. That you can see from on. What is it? Another burner got burned. Aren't you worried? Me? No. Ah, they've been chasing me for years. Only ever got multiple four feathers. But nobody but nobody knows where I keep my fuel in my garage. I want to keep it that way, you understand? Sure. Okay. okay. Again. What the hell's going on? Forget it. How are you going to explain two dead burners in two weeks? I said forget it. I'll take care of it. I see your lips moving, but you're not telling me anything. Pack up, Saunders. He said he'd take care of it. Cameron. Mm-hmm. Who's that? Hey, my son. Hi. <laughs> How you doing? Did you get it? No. What? Get out of here. Oh. <laughs> there we are. Brand spanking new. Yeah. <laughs> what do I owe you? Not a thing. A favor for a favor. Get out any time you want, you know. What's that? That sounded like a burner. Popper, isn't it? Good girl. Well, no shit. When did that happen? Hey, Jill. How's the buggy doing? No, oh, it's all right, Dad. It's just the throttle cable again. How are you, Jill, baby? Oh, how you doing, Mr. Red? Mr. Red. <laughs> Take it out of gear and jiggle the throttle, will you? Well, come on, get off your ass. Help a guy out. <laughs> Step on the clutch. Oh, that's the brake. Right. Now, you see this here? 
Well, when I tell you, kind of move it up and down. You think you can handle that? Yeah. Good. You, uh, a friend of Red's? It's my father. Oh, I haven't seen you out here before. It's my first time. And at your age. Here, help me get this thing out of here, will ya? Go push on the back axle. But watch the tailpipe, it's hot. Okay. Okay, now put a little ass in it, rookie. Ah, damn. <laughs> Did you find the tailpipe? Are you ready? Well, I'm always ready. Let's go. Okay, fire it up. That's beautiful! You won't have any excuses this time. Yeah, gonna blow the doors off that bird of yours. What? <laughs> With his cab over washing machine? Oh, you forget one important piece of equipment. Yeah, what's that? The driver. Nothing personal. No, just the facts of fact. <laughs> <laughs> facts of facts. All right, what's the course? Well, from here to uh, Gray's Rock, around Dry Lake, and then across uh, Long Butte and back. Okay. Stakes? Oh, I don't know. The championship of Western Silver Mine County and 10 gallons of gas. Oh, come on, let's make it worthwhile. Uh, the championship of all of Silver Mine County and 50 gallons of gas. Ooh. Done. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Jelly, it's all yours. Okay, gentlemen. You, out of the way. Start your engine. Whoa! 
all over now, okay? Okay. Okay, I'm ready to drive now. Okay. Okay, now, keep up. This is the steering wheel. This is the gear shift. Four forward and one reverse. Oh, but don't worry about the reverse. It doesn't work anyway. Now that makes you change the gears. That makes it stop. And that tells it to go. Everything clear so far? Sure. Okay, step on the clutch. No, 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 no. Now push it in and hold it. But slip it in. Nice and easy. Be gentle. Easy. Now, isn't that better? Now, this is the gear shift. Threw in more girls than picket fences. Put your hand on top of mine. Okay, now follow along. This is first, down to second, up to third, and down to fourth. Got it? First. Second, third, fourth. Ooh, that's nice. Ooh. Yeah, you got it. Okay. Push in the clutch. I'm gonna jump start you. Okay? Okay. Go. Okay, let out the clutch. Go for it.
needs a lot of work, rookie. A lot of work. Hold those and keep your foot on the damn brake. What's your last name? We don't use last names around here. Ask me anything else and I'll tell you. Okay. What do you do when you're not driving around scaring the piss out of people? I'm a silicone chip engineer. A what? I put together calculators. Here, let me give you a hand. No, girl. just stay there. Second time's always better than the first. Now, when I tell you, you take the foot off the brake nice and easy. Okay. Go. So it's a burner here. you got? Oh, less than half a tank. Yeah. Listen, we better go on back. Wait a minute. Yeah. What about Jillian, my son? Uh, she's not gonna hurt him. Yeah. Well, I better go back and check on him anyway. Okay. Too bad, though. I was winning. See you next week. anything. Did you hurt yourself? Jill? You see this? Yeah. This is a very precious piece of my anatomy. Do you know how hard this precious piece hit the ground? Uh, I'm sorry, Jill. Very I hard. Help me up. Boy, am I ever glad you're okay. You know, I thought you'd broken something. Oh, never mind. Brush me off.
that okay? Well, I don't think it's too bad. What do you think? I think we better get back to the buggy. <laughs> tomorrow you want to try again sure okay but I'll make you a deal why well I'll take you out for a ride if you show me red stash sure okay I don't think my dad will mind if I can find it again I'll let you blindfold <laughs> oh great <laughs> Take it off now, we're inside. No, I'm not taking it off until we're right there. You're the weirdest chick I've ever met, you know that? <laughs> yep, but I know red. I'm That's not it? taking it off. <laughs> watch now, watch now. Well, don't make me trip. Okay. Okay, take it off. Well, this is it. Yeah, it's great, isn't it? Yeah, great. What's the matter? Well, I don't know. I, I kind of expected something bigger. Bigger? <laughs> like what? Well, you know, banks of electronic equipment, supplies for hundreds of years, tons of materials. Well, you know, that kind of thing. There's the national director mm. for the Department of Vehicular Control, General Richard Head, ordered all operational units from the nation to increase their vigilance. The general in this rare public appearance stated in his address that the recent increase in burner activity is a show of support for Senator Jerry Curtis and his liberal counsel for the gasoline for steel bill. General Head stated that if the gasoline for steel bill is even considered for discussion in the Senate, Senator Curtis should be impeached. Recent monitoring of the illegal burner radio network indicates an increase in burner activity in the southwest sector. Further reports indicate that renegade DVC units are being formed. A DVC spokesman in Washington denies their existence. However, reliable sources admit that certain DVC irregulars are shooting to kill. The national... What the hell is it this time? What are we going to do, Jason? About what? Dolan. Dolan's okay. I'll look after him. What are you going to do? Play Big Brother the rest of his life? 
What the hell do you want me to do? Turn him in? Get him some leave. Get him transferred. Anything. He's getting worse out here. He's getting even. How? Oh. Six rednecks jumped him and ripped his back open. It's a terrible thing. I know that. But how can he get even, Jason? It's old history. It doesn't mean anything anymore, and I don't care anymore. How many drivers do we let him scratch? Two, ten, twenty? Go take another shower. You can't do that anymore, Doyle. What? Waste the driver. Had to. The prick was gunning for me. Look, that burner was on a rendezvous. We needed him. Next time, no hunting solo, okay? Will you look at me? Do you get what I'm driving at? Yeah, I get what you're driving at. Give me the ID. I've got to fill out my report. Blame me for it. We're not kids anymore, Dole. Come on, Jace. Take your best shot. You just give it to me? Play for it. No games. Play. I said no games. Play. Thanks, kid. It's okay. I get to keep the horse. Whoopee. Why do you give in to him, Jace? He's insane. Because he's insane. <laughs> Did you, you, let, you, you let Jill bring you here? Well, she wanted to see the place, and I thought... Do you mean you let Jill in here? Here? Yeah. Don't worry, Red. I had a blindfold on. I haven't the foggiest idea of where I am. Well, I, I know where you are. That's all that counts. Listen, before you know it, the whole DVC will be charging through here. Oh, no, Red, they cut you. So what? So what? <laughs> so what? I mean, if there weren't any DVC, you wouldn't have any fuel for that thing. Well, they are the conservatives of our fuel, aren't they? Oh, boy. My boy! My boy, you are about to learn. You're about to learn uh, the facts of life as lived in this year of our gas, uh, 2015. A one, a law that does not reflect the will of the people cannot be morally enforced. Those that enforce unjust laws are in themselves, by their very acts, unjust. Hmm, three, those who deny individual rights can't claim protection from those rights. Our government was formed to benefit the people of the people, for the people and by the people, not for the benefit of the government. Why aren't there more like you? Mm. Oh, I got another one. Bad laws are the worst sort of tyranny. Yeah, I know that one. Oh, yeah? Who wrote it? Edmund Burke. 
Well, as long as you know that much, then you'll look better than the rest. The DVC, uh, the Department of Vehicular Control, is an agency that enforces legal but unjust laws. They do not have the support of the people, and we will resist them, as all tyrants must be resisted for the survival of individual freedom. <laughs> that's right. And that's all we are, just a bunch of little old individuals who want our little old freedom. Mm -hmm. But that's not what we've been taught. You know, that's not what we learned in school. Oh, boy. Chili, I'm going to take this young man up and teach him the facts of life, will you? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Come on, you. But, Dad. Yeah. Come on. And don't come back until you learn them. I think that'll work. We are on very shaky ground, Jace. We don't need any more trouble from this crazy of yours. Senator Curtis succeeds in Congress. We're out. The bill will never be read. It'll be stopped. Can't believe you are so blind, Jace. This is crisis time now. The DVC have to keep their image clean. You know what I'm saying? We'll get our lobby. We always get what we need. No, Jace. If this killing goes on... Accidents. Murders. And they've got to stop. seen them here. Yeah, Firebird. The other was just a junker. When we first seen them moving, they were going east. Then they returned here and they started north. North? They were coming right towards you? They must have been doing more than a hundred. I never saw two together like that before. My whole inside shook. Well, how'd, how'd they get away? Because he was too anxious. He fired a round off about a thousand yards. He blew it. You fired at that distance? What the hell's the matter with you? Oh, I thought they were going to turn away. Hold it. Just wait a minute. Go on. All right. All right, all right, all right. Now look, we're going to sweep. Dolan, we're going to sweep this entire area. And next time, no phony excuses. I want that blue burner in scrap. You got it? Can I ask you a question? Yeah, sure. Fine. Is the car the reason you and Mom split up? Did she tell you that? Yes, sir. No. No, I doubt if I could even give you one single reason. I mean, there were so many differences between us, it just kept driving us further and further apart. And it was so painful. It was so painful for her, and it was painful for me, and it was, must have been terrible on you. So I just split. I guess it was easier for your mom to blame it on the fact that I was a partner. Anyway, that's why I promised her that I'd never bring you out here. But I didn't promise her that you couldn't follow me. She calls you a 55-year-old juvenile delinquent. <laughs> she does that. 
Well, that, that all depends on how you look at it. You see, when when you were well known, I guess it was just before you were born, the government gave the president powers and he passed an edict banning all private usage of automobiles. Well, I was ready to have a riot. I mean, nobody had asked me, nobody had asked 250 million other Americans. The government never asked them. They just passed an edict. Now, it's a matter could have taken a tank right through the front wall of the White House. It wasn't the president's fault we ran out of gas. <laughs> well, that's just government bullshit, boy. I mean, the military has, has hogged enough fuel to run private cars for another 50 years. I mean, you believe that kind of... Red One, this is Turnpike. Do you copy, Red One? Come in, Red One. Yeah, Red One here. Where the one's a no-show, Red One. Well, didn't he check in? Negative. McBain's unit's blown him away. She dead? Terminated, along with his horse. Oh, my God. That must have been the smoke we saw. Senator needs you. Will you burn for him? No, no, that's not part of the deal. You owe him, Red One. We don't have another burner with muscle. When? 29, 14, 8, 400. That's soon. Well, uh, I'll copy. I'll, uh, keep your ears open. That's a confirmation, Red One. I'll be listening. 29, 14, 8, 400. What's the key to that code? Deduct the last number from the rest. That makes it, uh... 25th, 10 a.m., day after tomorrow. The day after tomorrow? I might have started 
That was some roll. Are you okay? I'll roll me over in the clover. Do it again. Tickle my bum. Here. Throw on this. That's not the only thing that needs protection. Pink's your color. Thanks. You're welcome. Get in. You know, it's better when you're driving than when you're just riding. You know I, mean? I love it either way. Come on, I want to show you something. Yeah. But I want to show you my kind of anthropology. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Oh, Babies in mint condition. Or well, somebody who really loves cars. Red, maybe? Yeah? Yeah. I don't know. Mm. Well, it's kind of my private spot. Well, almost. Aren't they beautiful? Yeah, they really are. You're getting that feeling, too. Shiny. And smooth. Smooth. And sexy. Yeah. You like? Yeah. Oh, good. Let's go upstairs. What's up here? Oh, cows. Sure, cows. Great view. Yeah. Step into my parlor. Sit the spider to the fly. Are you hungry? Yeah. Well, I've got some treats. Yeah. Some cookies. And some hot dogs. And some beer. Over here. Wow. Here. You can see the whole world from up here. It's beautiful. Everything's so small. You know, we're pretty insignificant. I mean, people. I mean, I think about that a lot, don't you? Mm-hmm. Cam? Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ, Jill! Look at this! Well, my shirt's soaked and everything here. Look. We'll take it all off. Take it off? I will if you will. You first. You first. Together. Well, all right. But turn around and no peeking. All right. On three, then. OK. You ready? Mm-hmm. One. <sighs> Two. Three. I'll be a rat! Four. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> you got tricky Hey, now, ready. wait a minute. No, they gotta come off. Wait a minute, no. What? Get your foot out of it. <laughs> chill, chill. Ooh, look at these. Ooh, aren't they 
pretty. Oh, it's a pretty blue boy. Yeah! Jill! <laughs> Dad company. Entertain the gents. Who was to me? I don't know. Dad did something for Red. I don't know what it was. But ever since they've been real friends. Which is kind of strange. Strange? Yeah. It's like mass paranoia out here. Everyone is afraid that everyone else is after their stash. And DVC is out for everyone. Mm. But they gotta catch you running. How about you? What about me? What got you so interested in cars and all the other stuff you play with out here? <laughs> My mom. She was a mechanic. A mechanic? Mm-hmm. Well, Dad couldn't change a tire without a manual. <laughs> but my mom was really something. Oh, it's my buggy! DBC. <gasps> Those bastards! to say yes if I don't know what the hell it is. It's a big one. Gonna cost me any money? No, maybe your life. Oh, one of those. Okay, you got a deal, sweetheart. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna take it back to my place. You just forget how you forgot there.
kid, I have to book you. Uh, Defi, it doesn't matter. You see, it's a one-year mandatory sentence. Huh? Do, do you understand what I'm saying to you? It's a one year. One year. I, I don't... I don't want to do that. I, mean, I can let you go. You all right? I'm sorry. All you, all you have to do, all you have to do is tell me where the fire burned is. Hmm? That's all you have to do. Just tell me where the Firebird is. Okay. I want to lodge a complaint. Your friend there goes and blows his kid's doom popper when we already had it. There's no way he's getting a bonus this time. Shut up, will you? <laughs> Get her out of here. Not you. Him. Go on. I figure that the DVC has got a camp right about there. Now, if I want to pick up the senator, I've got to get past that point. So what do you want me to do, run a decoy? You got it. Yeah, about a mile <laughs> ahead of me. If you can make a lot of noise, just let them know that you're there so they can give... They've blown up the doom buggy and everything. You mean the DVC did this to you? Bastards. Dirty, rotten bastards. Where is she? I don't know, but we just... Where? Where did they take her? I don't know, but we've got to get her. Sit down, boy. Sit down. You're in no shape to get out there. Now, come on. Give me some water, will you, Andy? Let me take a look at you here, boy. That's oh, terrible. I'm sorry, Dad. It's all right, son. Yeah. It's all right. There you go. Take a sip of this. So what do we do now? We go get Jill. That's what we do now. What's up? Hey, you lead with your left, not your nose. We're going on patrol. You gonna go tell McVeigh? Nobody's cutting in on this bonus.
daddy's going to skin you alive. You blew it. You blew it. You were this far away from the Firebird, and you blew it. You want to get Red? Go ahead and get him. And the next one, and the next one, you're going to end up just like him. Isn't it, Jace? Not Dolan. You're the one who wants to get even. Just take care of it, will you? Son, why don't you hang up this little lamp? Okay. Listen, you're all right, aren't you? I'm your son, aren't I? I certainly hope so. This is going to work, isn't it? I engineered it, didn't I? Oh, yeah, it'll be fine. It's perfect. Yeah. Listen. When we hook up these boosted batteries to these two lamps, we're going to have ourselves a lethal weapon. A lethal weapon, yeah. Lethal. Listen, it's getting dark. You better get this thing moving now. I'm tired of sitting here. Let's get out of here. There's nobody gonna come. This is it. Five tents. Fuel truck. I'm going in. Give me about 15 minutes. Yeah, you, uh, you take it easy and lay low until I get down there. All right. Your cat will be here to pick you up. I'm gonna give him one hell of a circus, but I... I'm not gonna hang around for the applause. We'll get them, Grizzly. All right, see you later. Car. 
car. Come on. Hey, Mac. Mac, look here. Look what I got as a burner. Hey, Mac, start sneaking around here. Hey, Mac, look. Can I have him? No. Put the knife down. Put it down. Just having a little fun, I guess. Does Red One need any help? Uh, Red's got all the help he can handle right now. What's your ETA? Well, I guess about 2,300. Uh, tell uh, Red not to burn his feathers. Thanks. Over and out. 20 minutes for the senator, Dad. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, right, right, right. You're not driving anywhere. Uh, oh, what are you talking about? Lift your arm. Well, uh, sure. This one. Well, I can. What the hell? You have trouble driving with both arms, let alone one. <laughs> All right, Indy. Dad. Dad, we'll pick him up. Come on, Joe, let's go. Uh, let's uh, go. Wait a let's minute. Go. You don't even know how to. 
Bye-bye. Bye, Daddy. Yeah. See you tomorrow at breakfast, Dad. Hey, take care of the arm, huh? Bye-bye. <laughs> Well, wait, wait a minute. Wait, wait. Holy, you guys don't know how to run that thing? That's an expensive piece of equipment. You ever get the feeling you were being conned? Yeah. Listen, Indy and I owe you one. And I don't quite know how to thank you, but I'll try to no, think of a way. No, you don't owe me a thing. Forget it. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Hi. Uh, do you have a bathroom? Yeah. You have a shower? Oh, yeah. Hot water? Uh huh. Yeah, I've also got a sauna. You do. And a hot tub. And uh, as a matter of fact, you know, I should really show you how to use it. Because it's very dangerous for somebody to be in there all by themselves. Oh, yeah. yeah, well, because sometimes. I'm riding. Riding for my freedom This firebird ain't burned out yet We're gonna fly and never shoot us down We're riding Riding for our freedom This firebird ain't burned out yet We're gonna fly and never shoot us down I've got a tiger on my tail But it won't take me too long To make him eat my dust I feel him breathing down my neck, but I'm gonna win this race because we're a bust. Cause I'm riding for my freedom. Firebird ain't burned out yet. We're gonna fly, they'll never shoot us down. 